need to know how much knowledge and communication can be carried on its way. Hello, YouTube, and welcome back to my channel. So I thought, um it was necessary to briefly kind of explain my previous video that you can watch here um, because I made it on secure shelling however presenting that secure shell format does not allow the world to access your computer that was an explanation on secure shelling on your own local home network and let me go ahead and explain the difference about um, local IP addresses and public IP addresses or private versus public so I just kind of want to make this video a general um, overview of how network local area networks, World Wide Web, IP address security, and all that works. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, I want to say there's two IP addresses that you need to be aware of. One is your IPv4 local address, and one is your public IP address. Now, nowadays, when you access a website, your computer that you are on, the engagement starts from your computer, sends the um, stuff to your router, the router sends that out into the World Wide Web, and then you'll get whatever you want and it'll be brought back and shown into your browser. Um, that whole process goes from your local IP address on your computer to your local IP address on your gateway which is translated into or morphed into a different IP address that you don't see, but the world sees. And I mean, you can find it, it's obviously, you know, you can access your public IP address easily. Um, but then the world sees the public IP address, right? But basically what I'm trying to say is your router is what guards the local IP addresses on the devices that are plugged into the Wi-Fi. So basically your local IP address cannot leave the boundaries of your actual walls of your home. Well, of your like Wi-Fi network. Um, so basically if you type in if config on a Linux, I F C if config, and then um, and on Windows it's ip config or IP config, IP is in Paul. Um, and then you'll see your IPv4 address. That is your local address. That is not your public IP address. That is your personal, hidden, secret kind of IP address. If I were to type in your IPv4 address right now in my browser, nothing will happen. I wouldn't connect to it. I would get a, that's probably my IP address, right? Because everyone has like 192.168.1. something. Um, that is an automatically assigned local area network address, meaning your router um, wears a mask and the mask is facing the World Wide Web Internet and has its own face. But when you go home, that IP address is not the same as the public address. Um, it, it changes things in your home environment. Um, so your IPv4 address does not get outside of the boundaries of your home network. Okay, so your computer's IPv4 address is its personal, private, kind of secret IP address that only your gateway or router knows. The outside world does not see that. The outside world can't see that. Okay, the only thing the outside world sees and the World Wide Web and other devices that are trying to, you know, get into your network, the only thing that they out there see is your, is your router's public IP address. Okay, now, who gives you that public IP address. Who determines what that is? Your internet service provider does. AT&T or Spectrum or Charter or whatever they call themselves now, um, or Google Fiber or Fios or whatever, whoever it is, they are the ones that give you your public IP address and you, I guess- I Don't really have control over that, so. So yeah, don't worry about like whenever you do if config or like you're sharing information online and you take a screenshot because something didn't work right and you're like trying to post questions on Reddit or something, don't worry about 
you know, your IP address being in the public because that is not really your IP address that the public sees. That's not the one that you should be protecting or worried about. The one you should be protecting and worried about is the public IP address. Um, and network address translation, which is the technology that all routers nowadays have, all routers that you buy right now from an ISP or internet service provider like ATT, etc., they all come default standard with network address translation and they are like cracked down on open ports on your router. So basically, um, by default, the router does two things. It distributes private secret IP addresses just to the devices that connect to it on your home network that are accessible only in the walls of your home, like devices that are inside of your home, your physical home, um, that are connected to your Wi-Fi. Those are local IP addresses. You can change them. It doesn't matter what they are because they don't connect to the world. They're not connecting to the world. Those are your secret IP addresses. The ones, how do they connect to the world? Well, your router does that. Your router takes those secret, local, whatever you want it to be IP addresses, changes it, morphs it, like I said, again, morphs it into the public IP address that is given to your internet service provider. And then it shoots it out to the web and does whatever with it, whatever you want. Now, when you secure shell, right? In the video that I posted here, this is not a public worldwide web accessible method of secure shelling because I do not have a, an open secure shell port on my router open to the public. I have only hidden local area network IP address. Um, that's what port forwarding is. So if you wanted to secure shell from outside. So if you were to go to your friend's house and use that same secure shell method, you will be met with an error message instead of a password input um, prompt because that is only accessible on a local area network. You would have to allow your router, your home router, to accept incoming requests from port 22 or whatever secure shell port you open. You have to go into your router settings, at ts router settings, Verizon router settings, Charter router settings, whatever, and open that port to allow the World Wide Web to get into your network. And that's called an open port. And that is also a vulnerability, yes, but um, that is not something you have to worry about if you do not open the port. So you can secure shell anything you want, just don't open the port into your router unless that's what you want and you know what you're doing and you're like opening the port for the world to get into. That's where you can go to your friend's house, secure shell into your computer, and control it from a different network entirely. Like the moment you step out of your door in your home, that's where your public IP address starts. And then when you drive up the road out of your neighborhood, that is where your IP address is public. This is kind of confusing, but I'm trying the best I can to put this in a visual perspective um, because when you leave your house, right, the, the router, imagine the router, there's the forward facing and the backward facing. The forward facing is facing the public. That is a different IP address in the back, in the back that you don't see. That's the local IP address is going on and it's got your, your mom's phone, your sister's computer, your brother's Xbox, all those have other IP addresses that are local to your home network that aren't visible in the public unless you open a port and like have it. But anyways, still, even if you open a port, you've got your router's um, IP address and then you have to then know the host name from the router IP address to connect to your device that you're trying to. I'm gonna post another video on that a different time. Once you access the router settings, you are going to click on broadband. Your broadband IPv4 address is your public, public facing 
World Wide Web, visible to the public in the outside world IP address that is your protected, sacred, special IP address. And when people know that address, that can make you a target for hacking, hacking, hacking. Once people know your public IP address, they can start to play around with and, and test and like penetrate and try to see if there's any way to access your network um, through that address, whether it's open ports or checking for all kinds of different stuff. So that is the address you need to worry about. Your gateway address is not the same as your broadband address. So your broadband address, I know it's confusing. Your gateway address is like the, still the local area network address and your like private secret like home network and then it translates to it can kind of be similar to your broadband address um, but it'll still translate your local address into the broadband address that gets out to the public so whatever your personal device computer IP address is does not matter it is what your gateways broad but not the gateway address the broadband address it is that's what matters have no fear your public ip address is not the same as your local ip address so don't worry well that's easy to remember oh one one eight nine 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 eight eight one nine 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 one one nine seven two five three